Close your eyes and think thoughts of goodwill. Goodwill is a wish for happiness, true happiness, a happiness that lasts. And that's a wish that you should be able to spread to all beings everywhere, starting with yourself and then moving out. Because why wish for anyone's suffering? There are people who have been misbehaving, a lot of people misbehave in this world, but then we've been misbehaving ourselves. Maybe not as bad as they have been, but you never know from your past. You remember the Buddha came to teach the end of suffering, not just to people who were good. Anybody who wanted to put an end to suffering and who was willing to take responsibility for his or her actions. In other words, saying that you're suffering because of your own lack of skill. The Buddha was willing to teach those people. He didn't say, those who deserve to suffer don't get to get this teaching. Everybody was able to take advantage of that teaching if they wanted to. And it was this way. The Buddha was a friend to everyone in the world. And that's a good thing to aspire to, to be a friend to everybody. As for people who have been misbehaving, you want to hope that they see the error of their ways and come to their senses, change their ways. That's the most reliable way to change things in the world. If you force people to change, they may change in line with your force. But then when you stop exerting the force, they may go back to their old ways. But if they see for themselves that what they've been doing has been unskillful and is harming them, then they'll change voluntarily. And that kind of change is more trustworthy. So try to have goodwill for everyone. There are a lot of people you don't like, but you don't have to like people in order to have goodwill for them. The world would be a much better place if everyone could find true happiness. And true happiness has to come from within. And as you're meditating, you're showing other people this is how it's done. So it's not just an idle wish. You have to carry through to show goodwill in your thoughts and your words and your deeds. This is different from dedicating merit. When you dedicate merit, it's up to the other side to express their appreciation and to benefit from that. You don't have to follow through. You don't have to take a survey afterwards to see how they benefited. But with goodwill, you're committing yourself that you want to act in a way that's for everybody's benefit. So you think of the kind of actions that would be for everyone's benefit, and they fall under three main headings. There's generosity, virtue, meditation, the development of the mind. You look for happiness in those ways. You're showing other people this is how it's done. After all, this is why we take refuge in the Buddha and the Dharma and the Sangha, because they give us good examples on how happiness can be found in a way that's harmless, in a way that's lasting, in a way that actually adds to our wisdom and our compassion and our purity. Wisdom in the sense of realizing what kind of actions will lead to our long-term welfare and happiness. Compassion in realizing that if our happiness depends on other people's suffering, they're not going to stand for it. They're going to try to change it. So we have to take their happiness into account. And purity means you basically follow through with your good intentions. And then you learn from your mistakes so that your intentions go better than good and then become skillful. It's that way you show good will for yourself, good will for everybody around you. Good will is not love. Love tends to be partial and can easily turn into hate. But good will can be universal. It can embrace everybody. And when you embrace everybody like that with your goodwill, then you have a share in the wish for happiness too.